people want to know how you think Zoom will be affected when we finally get through COVID and the, and the world starts to come back to normal. Is that something that you think about and any, any, any thoughts on that? We do. We go, first of all, I hope that hopefully this uh, crisis can be over very soon. It's not really easy. We all work from home for such a long time, mental health, depression. I think even after the pandemic crisis is over, I truly believe the hybrid you know, work uh, uh, you know, a place will be the future. Right? So meaning, you know, even if we all go back to you know, office to work, we're likely, you know, we probably send employees back at home one day or two days a week. I think the way for us, you know, to leverage the tools like Zoom, we'll see. I'm not seeing the, the, the usage like today, right? However, the tools like this will help. It's not as we think about what we can innovate, you know, what if we can embrace new use cases. That's okay. We do not worry about, oh, uses might decline. That's not important for us. Well, that's interesting. So you're not measuring based on whether or not users are going to decline or not. You're, what, what, and then what are you measuring? Is it just... Um... We, again, you know, our goal is to truly deliver happiness to our customers, right? Because customers send out the feedback. Take this online class, for example, universities, they see a lot of them using Zoom. At the same time, they share the feedback. Can you have this feature, that feature? Then we think about, maybe you should have a different user interface, right? And also a lot of uh, Zoom hosts, they say, like an online yoga class teacher, you know, what can we do right, to have those people more, host them more? Meaning, you know, we can add the, the payment feature embedded into Zoom. And also can have those meeting hosts to, you know, uh, to publish their events, right? I think a lot of things can be done, you know, to serve those users well. That's our focus.